Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Mattel Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia 2 Bad in about eh, five minutes. Here's the package, your standard Masterverse fare. I love that this one's looking at this one like, hey, why are you always crowding me? There's amazing looking art on the side. Same thing on the back. Your Tuvar and Badra bio. Too bad. Masterverse, legalese. Right up front, when I was a kid in the 80s, the vintage Too Bad was one of my favorite Masters of the Universe figures. There was just something about two heads and the punching action where you could have this one punch that one and this one punch that one and they're always fighting. But then I didn't do much Masters of the Universe until classics. I didn't get into 2000X and everything else in between. And in that line, this was one of my favorites. But this, this may be my new modern favorite. It takes all the major design elements of Too Bad over the years and smashes it all together, which is literally too bad, you know? I even love this offset shoulders where this head is higher than this one. I know that was a 2000X element that was backwards, but again, I didn't get into that line. It does fix something that bugged me about the classics figure. With that, everything seemed too close together, especially the heads. You had the points on the side of the purple head always poking the blue head's ear. That, and if you wanted them to look, they were just kind of... This Masterverse version doesn't have that problem. You can have them arguing and just, hey, why don't you get away from me? Give me some private time. I may be wrong. Again, I'm not an expert here, but the detail work to the blue side of things, all these striations, it's a nice departure from the smoothness we've gotten for a long, long time. There's always been scales and stuff on the purple side. Giving this some extra detail, it feels like it, and this is going to be a weird term to use, it balances things out, even though they're not balanced. I also love that it actually looks like it's merged together. The purple is kind of overtaking the blue. You have the silver gauntlet nicely complementing the blue of the skin. Same thing down here at the boot with the studs and the layers. And then on this side, things are a bit more pointy. And then it almost seems like they're translucent for the metal parts on this side. Maybe the same here. It does look kind of swirly twirly, doesn't it? Am I crazy in thinking that's a face of some kind? If you don't care for this shoulder piece, you can slide off and get rid of it. A little more vintage. I am having trouble with this arm going all the way down. It wants to jut out a bit. Whereas with the blue, it hangs straight. I guess adds to that. <clears throat> you can also take off the shoulder armor, but it almost feels like a trauma from when I was a child. Remember doing this with the vintage figures? and they never quite went on right again. There you go, naked too bad. Although now some chipping and rub marks are exposed. Did I mention the nice dry brush on top of it? And then the scales have a wash too. Bring out all that detail. God dang, I love this design. Articulation, there are dumbbell joints at the top of the necks. That's weird to say in plural form. Down, up, side to side, some tilt. The shoulder rotates all the way around, hinges out. Swivel at the biceps. Double elbow on this side allows for up to here. On this side, these studs kind of get in the way and my upper elbow is locked up. Swivel wrist with a hinge in and out. Dumbbell at the mid torso gets nice hula hoop along with some rotation. Then there's also a swivel at the waist. Ball coming out to the hips, allow for this and this and whoa. Nice. Swivel at the thigh. Double knee, I haven't tried this yet. Oh, not bad. Swivel at the boot. Hinge at the ankle goes back, forward. Then a forward facing pin that's angled down a bit. So you get more twist than rock. I don't know if it's quite an accessory, but here's the chest armor again. I'm just realizing this thing on the back does twist. You gotta make sure to push it past the point and then let the hook hook. Yeah. You may have noticed that the belt was on it in the package. I took it off and now I'm gonna put it back on because it's a belt and it's kind of cool looking. Stay latched for daddy, come on. That kind of veers it away from the vintage class look but it adds something to it the silver over to here the blue over to here the purple over to here have the shield again with the duality the points the studs and this one goes a step further with extra texture on this side where this side's smooth there's optional hands besides the grips that came on it in the box those are easy enough to pop out and you get two fists but why would you want fists when you have these kick-ass weapons and again there you go with the motif store the weapon back here very nice put it to either side side depending on who wants to grab it and then finally there's a blaster goes into the holster very nice too bad is a big boy measuring up to seven and seven eighths on this side and about eight a little under eight and a quarter on this side which has him towering over other masterverse figures like the 40th anniversary he-man and then beast man classics he-man and then animation style spy core maybe you want him squaring off with some mcfarland dc multiverse or spawn figures monstrous next to some 1 12th scale offerings like hasbro star wars black series or marvel legends and i almost forgot about this the classics too bad so at the end of the day excellent addition to the masterverse collection i haven't been buying everything in this line but what i have picked up I've liked a lot. And I'd be tempted to say that too bad here is cream of the crop. Basically, 
not too bad at all. <laughs>